The Introverted Leader, Building on Your Quiet Strength by Jennifer B. Conweiler. Some traits of introversion such as listening, preparation and calmness are great qualities found in excellent leaders. Introversion and extroversion follow a gradient, they're not either or choices. Introverts find socializing with large groups of people draining. Uncontrolled introversion can constrict your career and hamper you as a leader. You can manage your introversion and get ahead in your organization, even if it rewards extroversion. Extroverted colleagues should be aware of the six barriers facing introverts. They are, people exhaustion, a fast pace, getting interrupted, pressure to self-promote, an emphasis on teams, and, negative impressions. Introverts can use the, four pita seconds, to manage how they relate to people, preparation, presence, push, and, practice. Introverts tend to suffer from stress, invisibility and, perception gaps. Introverts can become more extroverted by acting as if they are outgoing, but trying too hard to break out of introversion can backfire. Summary. Extroverts and introverts. Extroverts thrive in a busy organizational environment. They love being around people, the more the merrier. But introverts find that dealing with large numbers of people saps their energy, so many feel excluded, overlooked or misunderstood in the tumult of organizational life. Introverts' careers often suffer because they lack strong people skills, but some of their natural traits like listening, preparation and calmness can become great leadership qualities. The general traits that often differ between introverts and extroverts include Introverts reflect first and then speak, extroverts speak immediately. Introverts get energy from solitude, extroverts get energy from other people, though both may need occasional breaks. Introverts are more restrained, extroverts are more exuberant. Introverts have low-key facial expressions and are private at first, extroverts are facially expressive and share openly. Introverts prefer to write, extroverts prefer to talk. Introverts are humble, calm, and need time to prepare. Excited extroverts like to talk about their accomplishments and are willing to wing it. Six significant barriers confront introverts. Introverted leaders can learn to deal with introversion as they would any other business challenge by determining which behaviors will help solve an issue and figuring out the best strategies for putting those steps into action. Introverts can turn their supposedly negative characteristics into desirable assets, like famous introverted leaders Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Janet Yellen and Warren Buffett have done. Introverted leaders often face six significant barriers. Naming them can raise the consciousness of their extroverted colleagues. Bringing these challenges into the open is the first step in changing people's expectations. They are. People exhaustion. A study of 100 introverts reveals that more than 90% suffered from too much exposure to other people. While introverts generally enjoy other people, their energy quickly wanes when the number of interactions gets too high. On the other hand, isolation leaves extroverts feeling depleted and fatigued. They need the energy of other people. The amount of people time introverts need varies. To become leaders, they need the right tools and the awareness to handle the connectivity that leadership requires. A fast pace. The pace of technological change can give life at work a frenetic pace. When that happens, introverts need even more time to collect data and reflect on their situation in order to make better decisions. Getting interrupted. Introverts face pervasive problems in getting heard, especially at meetings when extroverts seize the floor. Female introverts may face a double bias in a male-dominated business environment where the accepted norm is to interrupt. Introverts must adopt strategies to get their insights, ideas and solutions heard above the fray. Pressure to self-promote Many introverts find the effort required to promote themselves too difficult. They are uncomfortable networking, tend to be humble and highly value privacy. 
They often don't see the need to brag about their achievements either in person or on social media. Introverts thus seem to pale in comparison with their extroverted colleagues. An emphasis on teams. Many introverts spend their most productive work time thinking, writing and creating projects on their own rather than spending time collaborating with team members. While teamwork enables brainstorming, it cuts into the time introverts need for solitary problem solving. Negative impressions. Because introverts usually show less emotion in their facial expressions, others often ask them, what's wrong, even when everything is okay and the introvert is simply thinking. This perception gap happens when someone misreads the introvert's intention. For example, if you don't nod your head and show animated show interest in what another person is saying, he or she might think you are bored, slow, snobby, unmotivated, indecisive, unhappy, cold, or unfeeling. Introverted women have been misunderstood as cold and unfeeling or stuck up. Now is the time for introverted leaders. Introverted leaders can use their quiet strengths to address these challenges. They can improve their careers and their interactions with colleagues. Any organization can benefit from expanding its current leadership model beyond extroversion and outgoing behavior. Introverted leaders' abilities can include Solving pressing problems. Teams and organizations need introverts' creativity and brain power to generate new ideas, confront the status quo and groupthink, and deeply consider world problems like mitigating climate change and curing cancer. Increasing engagement. Some 40% to 60% of workers are introverts, very likely some of them are among the 70% of global workers Gallup Research says aren't engaged with their jobs. Job retention improves when companies engage introverts in their work, help them align their efforts with corporate goals and recognize their contributions. Creating productive workspaces. Companies can arrange flexible workplaces to accommodate both solitary and collaborative ways of working to benefit introverts, extroverts and those whom psychologist Adam Grant calls ambiverts, for example, salespeople who can both listen deeply and talk ardently about their products. Enabling extroverts to tap into their introverted side. Helping introverts gain recognition and respect also helps their extroverted colleagues better appreciate their own quieter strengths. An organization benefits when its extroverts learn to pause and pay attention to what its introverts are thinking, and when its introverts learn to be a little more participatory and expansive. Accomplishing more together. When introverts and extroverts work in harmony, they contribute a wide range of talents. Diverse teams can accomplish more than homogeneous teams. And when strong performers, like genius introverts and genius extroverts, merge their strengths, everyone benefits from the exponential results. Unlocking success, the four P's process. You can take four steps to put your introverted tendencies to work to become a strong, or stronger, leader. The four PETA seconds can help any self-aware introvert turn the shackles of introversion into active strengths. They are Prepare Preparation requires a series of activities that feed your sweet spot by playing into your natural tendencies. These activities could include writing out meaningful questions before a meeting, reading a job applicant's resume before an interview or researching a client before a sales meeting. If you are prepared, you'll have more confidence. Presence being present in a way that allows you to be with people means you are paying attention to the people in the room. You aren't thinking about the past or the future, instead, you're engaged in the moment and can derive more from each situation. So, look up from your computer when someone stops by to talk you, share a perceptive insight at your next meeting and enliven your presentations. Push, though other people may never know it, introverts are pushing themselves every time they have to leave their comfort zones and take any risks. This could mean asking their manager for a raise, going to a professional event they'd rather not attend or striking up a conversation with a distant acquaintance. 
Practice. Take every opportunity to use your skills and talents to reinforce new behaviors. Even great champions like Olympic gymnast Simone Biles and violinist Joshua Bell practice continually. To become comfortable in groups, practice using conversational icebreakers, telling stories and facilitating meetings. While introverts increasingly recognize and own their strengths, it is hard to push through the deep-rooted, often subtle bias that caters to extroverts' preferences. To use the four PETA seconds effectively, develop an action plan. Target specific traits you want to work on, such as how you present yourself and, for each P, list specific actions you plan to take. This will help you build bravery and self-assurance. As you work to control the ways your introversion manifests, don't try too hard, because that can backfire. Pushing yourself too far out of your authentic self can produce negative results. If you over-prepare for a meeting, you can bring on too much stress, second-guess yourself, and sound over-rehearsed. Work hard on your four PETA seconds, but with balance. People, projects and presentations. Introverts can use the four PETA seconds to build and enhance their leadership skills. Prepare by taking introspective time to know yourself, build your team, understand your team, and create an environment, heed your blind spots. To enhance your presence, walk around, write it down, listen like a leader, have spontaneous conversations, pay attention to facial expressions, and flex your style. Experiment with three strategies to gain leadership momentum, be assertive, delegate, 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 and be open-minded. Practice the skills you need to improve and polish your natural abilities for a winning combination. Think of your energy as if it were a battery. Extroverts charge their batteries by being with people. Introverts draw their battery power by going within. Highly successful introverts like singer Beyonce, philanthropist Bill Gates and actress Meryl Streep have mastered public speaking, which doesn't necessarily correlate with extroversion, and you can, too. Remember to draw on the lessons of the four PETA seconds by preparing yourself and your materials, by being fully present with your audience, by pushing your game, verbalizing your ideas and getting creative, and by practicing speaking in public at every chance you get. Leading and participating in meetings. Choose from a variety of techniques to build on your quiet strengths and avoid letting the extroverts run over you at meetings. Again, the four PETA seconds can help you get heard. To prepare, know the purpose of the meeting, be ready to contribute, ease into the meeting, and know where to sit. Establish your presence by creating and enforcing ground rules, using brain writing, a handwritten version of brainstorming, making your voice heard, and building in breaks to gain time to respond to requests. Enhance your push muscle by using technology well and having assertive tools for handling extroverts. Attending meetings is an excellent way to practice your skills. You can control your participation if you become a meeting subject matter expert, use meetings as learning labs, and practice new approaches. Networking your way. You're not alone if you have ever felt out of the loop. Often, people share important information at informal pre-meetings at the gym, golf course or coffee shop, at trade shows and conferences, and at community events like road races and volunteer projects. Introverted leaders can use the four PETA seconds to network and join these mutual beneficial exchanges. To prepare, know your purpose, decide what you can offer, decide what you need, prepare questions, and create a social media strategy. To build a networking presence, listen with depth, paraphrase, observe people to assess the fit, and go beyond chit-chat. To network, put your phone away, introduce people, lead an icebreaker, and take breaks to recharge. Although today's turbocharged society may seem to think otherwise, introversion is a perfectly legitimate personal style. While shyness and introversion sometimes overlap, introversion is about how you are naturally wired. 
Successful introverted leaders know how to use their natural inclination to interact one-on-one -on -one with people to establish and enhance their rapport in a variety of informal settings. Prepare by learning coaching and communicating strategies to build your influence. To establish your presence, have a list of points to discuss, communicate expectations, and solicit input. Managing up. While management expert Peter Drucker said, you don't have to like or admire your boss, he did believe in having good relationships with your boss. If you prepare properly, you will meet with your boss regularly to assess the value you bring and observe your manager's style. Enhance your presence at upward meetings with four strategies, be yourself, demonstrate results, act on feedback, and request mentors and sponsors. Some push approaches that can enhance your partnership with your boss include be honest, give upward feedback, protect your boss, and know when to step back. Stay on top of change if you want to make managing up a centerpiece of your leadership portfolio. About the author. Jennifer B. Conweiler, Ph.D., consults with major companies. She is a professional speaker who also wrote Quiet Influence and the Genius of Opposites.